Hello, it's Tony Mallet here, and I'm bringing you into the depths of my study. And here we have all of the books that I cherish. Actually, some of the best books I've actually given away for people to borrow. So very often the best books are missing from the bookshelf. But this is this is my study. And my study is a very important place for me because these books and some of the classics um, up here which we'll be looking at in a minute they've really formed the ideas or helped me move me forward on my dreams these inspirational writers and books and absolutely crucial for anybody that's looking to create change positive change in their life i'll see you in the other room and uh, explain a bit more It's Tony Mallet here. I want to start off first of all by asking you four key questions. Number one, do you think it's possible that there are answers to some of your questions about your dreams, your health, your life, your happiness, your fulfillment? Number two, do you think it's possible that there might be people out there that have some of those answers to your questions about fulfillment, life, happiness? Number three, would you agree that actually what really counts really in our questions is what works? We're seeking to find out what actually does work. And number four, would you agree that when you start to study, and it may be something that you normally put off reading and study, but, but when you start to study to find out the answers about you, about what makes you work, suddenly study becomes very, very attractive. And in today's video, I want to share with you my journey in terms of studying great books. These are some of my favourites. Um, the great uh, Wallace D. Wattles, The Science of Getting Rich. It's just an absolute classic. I mean, these are the key books that I just keep going back to and, and reading again and again. Um, this is an absolute gem. Very small book to read. Your Invisible Power by Genevieve B. Rand. Again... I can't get enough of this book. That's helped me so much. Um, inspirational quotes always come in very useful when I'm working with people. So that's another great one. Oh, and of course, this black book here, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And the great Joe Dispensia, Becoming Supernatural. That's a, that's a big book to read, but again, an absolute classic. And finally, uh, the Science of Mind by Ernst Holmes, another classic, uh, which again is great to study. So books for me, and you saw my study earlier on, are absolutely crucial, crucial for uh, my own dreams and development in the last 25 years. And I've seen huge change. Now, Wayne Dyer once said that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at, they change and sometimes I can go back to these books and study and I've maybe not looked at that book for maybe five years but when I go back to the book I see information that I didn't see the first time it's it's somehow different and that's the joy about learning about ourselves I often say to people that most of us know more, more about the hard drive system inside our computer and our documents and files than we do about ourselves and really to understand how to grow and f live a more fulfilled life, we have to start to learn more about ourselves. And you do this through study. And study becomes attractive and wonderful when you start to find out about yourself. Because when you find out about yourself, you're able to function and live a happier life and fulfill your dreams. So, another fact which is really interesting to, to realise is that most grown-ups, most adults... They stop reading by the time they get to about 30. And when I say deep reading, I mean deep study. They actually stop by the age of about 30. They, they, they stop that process of learning about themselves through reading and through study. They somehow feel that they've, they've learned all they've, they've got to, to know about. That's really not true. The, the first ever book that I read was by Gene Houston. 
and it was called Passion for the Possible. And that book I will always remember because it started my journey off on all of those great uh, books that you've seen in my study. So you may be wondering how on earth, Tony, did you get all of this information internalised and added into your life so that you could follow this uh, path of self-development? Well, the way that I did that, and it would be some great advice for you, oh, it's over here, is to keep a journal. This is the original journal that I started some 20 years ago, where I would keep notes in here of all of the books that I've read and I'd, I'd make notes in here of the key points that came out from those uh, books and internalise them, help them make sense of my life. They were the key points because clearly we can't absorb all of this information from all of the books that we read, but we can take out the key points that matter to us to help us move forward. And then it was from that journal that I would read regularly to, to move my life forward. So at the beginning of the video, I asked you four questions. Hopefully uh, you can see a pathway towards answering those questions. It really is about study, but, but learning about yourself is great fun. It, it, it's, it's enlightening to find out where, where the answers are and where that it can take you to. But there's one final point I would like to share with you, and it's three points really, that as well as great books to help you study and lead a more fulfilled life, learning from the great authors that inspire you, is to find a place a quiet place or somewhere where you can go and study or it could be in nature where you're able to walk and breathe in the fresh air uh, maybe while you're reading I can remember I used to climb onto my bike and, and, and ride out into the countryside with a great book and I'd sit and read outside uh, in the countryside and that was great and the third point is to find a person to find a person in your life with the book would be great uh, it could be an author but to find a person, a book, and a place, and put those three things together is incredibly powerful in terms of finding the right types of inspiration uh, for your life. So I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, video. It's with great delight that uh, Mike Hendricks and myself, Tony Mallet, will be leading a workshop on the 29th of September at the Leeds McCure Parkway Hotel. Uh, all day workshop which is truly going to be a great event and help people on that event move their lives forward in terms of feeling healthier, more fulfilled uh, with the ability to maybe actualize those dreams that, that you're holding up here. So I look forward to seeing you there and I've got three more videos to send you which I can't wait to, uh, to get out over the next few weeks and uh, we will hopefully see you there on that Saturday the 29th of September just follow the link below and uh, you, can, you can see how to register for that. But uh, places are limited and obviously we don't want a huge group of people because a small group is, is far more powerful in terms of sharing synergy and ideas. So look forward to seeing you there. Uh, to your success, it's Tony Mallet signing out.